Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. My name is Shaheen and I want to show you how I fixed uh, my problem with my PlayStation 4 regarding updates. If you're receiving a problem or an error in your PlayStation 4 that is not turning on or it cannot get updated, uh, or you receive any of the errors that you see on the screen right now, please watch the video to the end and this could be the solution that you're looking for. If you are receiving one of the messages that you see on the screen right now on your PlayStation 4, it means that your PlayStation cannot update itself and it cannot fix itself. So you need to download a file from the PlayStation website, put it in a USB drive and, and install it inside your PS4. That's the only way you can recover. Now there are two files uh, in the PlayStation website. One file is going to help the PlayStation to update and another uh, update or upgrade. Uh, and the other another file is going to reinstall the PlayStation and make it into the factory setting. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make the USB keys and USB drive and how you have to put it into the PlayStation 4. And at the end, I will show you the result as well. Okay guys, so this is where we need to prepare our USB drive for uh, reinstallation of our PS4. Uh, this is what we need. So I'm going to plug in my USB into my laptop or computer. This is what's going to come up. So as you can see, my um, USB is here and it's about uh, one gigabyte of file inside it, which is what we need for the PlayStation 4. The file, you can find it on the address uh, that I'm going to provide on the description below. You will find that file, but what's important, or I should say what's more important is how to put the file inside your uh, drive. So the first step is you right click on your USB drive. Please pay attention, you don't do it to any other of your drive because you're going to mess up with your computer. So on your uh, USB drive, you right click, click and then you format it. When you click on format, make sure you use EXFAT. XFAT, this is the format system that you want to format this USB drive with. Usually uh, is in uh, FAT32 or NTFS, um, but you need to change it to EX, small e, small x, FAT, and then you click on start and it will format your uh, USB drive. What that, that does is it cleans it out. It uh, it does a, a hardware uh, cleanup. It means it will destroy all the files that is inside the uh, USB drive. After you format the drive, you place you you go inside it and you make a folder. It's very important. You right click, you create a folder, and you name it PS4. So it's very important. So you, wa you want a folder named by PS4 inside your USB drive. Inside the PS4, you make another folder. You call it update, okay? These steps are very important. And then inside the update is where you're placing your file. And I have a link below uh, to show you where you can find the file. There are two files in the link that I'm going to share with you in the description. One file is to help the PlayStation to upgrade. The other file is to reinstall it. It means the factory uh, reset, basically. It's going to erase all the information from your PlayStation as well. So that is basically your last step. If your update file doesn't work and if you can't fix your PlayStation in any other way and you keep on getting the message of error of updating and there's no other way, you may want to consider uh, the reinstallation. So this is the file that I have here. This is a reinstallation file. So I want to show you one more time. So there's a in your computer drive in your uh, this PC or my computer, you go and click on your uh, USB drive, you have to make sure that it is uh, formatted before you put the files inside it. You format it first with the format of EXFAT, and then you go inside it, one folder called PS4. Inside PS4, there's one folder called Update. Inside Update is where you paste your file. And then um, you can just bring it here, or if you download it somewhere else, you can copy it and then just basically just paste it here. And then that's it, you close, and that's where you would go ahead and place your uh, USB drive inside your uh, PS4. 
So now, this is the message you want to see. I have placed, uh, I've prepared my USB first, I plug it into the PlayStation 4, I uh, restarted it, and I got to this message which says the PS4 will now be reinstalled. And that's exactly what we want. I'm going to fast forward the process. Basically, it's going to initialize uh, the file that you downloaded. It's going to uh, do some preparation going from 0 to 100% a few times. Uh, it may restart your device a few times. Just uh, on the side note, be very careful that during the process, uh, do not turn off uh, your console and you just be careful that you don't interrupt the process. As you can see on the picture, the device will restart itself a few times. You don't have to interfere with that. Uh, I'm assuming if, uh, if you turn off your device or you do something in the process, um, you will probably have to start over or you may uh, damage your device in a way that it would not be replaceable. Now, as you can see, at this point on, the graphic uh, has been established. The system software is getting updated and this is exactly what we want. I wasn't uh, getting to this point in the, in the past. The system was not updating. Now it's installing update file, which is uh, which sounds good. It looks good too. It's going to go from 0 to 100 uh, and that's it. So um, I'm just going to repeat one more time what happened. Uh, so basically the PlayStation 4 was not able to come up and upgrade uh, itself. It requires some files from the website. We downloaded the file and then there's a specific way that you have to format the USB, draw, USB stick and put the files into the USB stick. Uh, and then you bring it to your uh, PS4, you plug it in, you restart, and pretty much from that point on, uh, it does it does its own thing and restarts a few times, and then finally, it gets to uh, a point that shows you the PlayStation logo and Sony and everything. If if during the process like this, it shows you a couple of uh, um, pictures or uh, disturbance of the view. Do not worry. Do not turn off the PlayStation. Just let it uh, let let it do its own uh, thing, and then finally you get to this page, which uh, is uh, which means that your PlayStation has been recovered. Now, uh, after this, you have to set up your PlayStation, which I'm not going to go through. But uh, because I the file that I put in the USB drive was reinstallation. My uh, PS4 got to the factory setting. If you do the update, it's going to be different. So it's going to only update the, the drive. So just be very careful of that. And uh, good luck on your fixing your uh, PlayStation 4. And if you learned anything, just uh, click on like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have any questions. Good luck.